Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to understand isScanif. That is another useful function that we can use for scanning data from a string. As you can see, I already have declared a string there with the name string and that is initialized with this particular string. Now this particular string contains three information there. As you can see, the first one is the name of the person and then the age of the person and then the weight of the person. And each of this information is separated with a space. Now we want to read these information individually and assign them to some specific variable. So in order to read these formatted data into some variable from a string, we can use the isScanf. Say we have these three variables. The first one is the integer, that is age, where we are going to keep this age after reading. And then we have this weight, where we are going to keep this weight and then a character array name where we are going to assign this name. Now we can read that string using sscanf and can assign the individual formatted data into those variables using the format specifiers. It works pretty same with the scanf. Only the thing is that we need to mention the source string. The scanf function, as you know, it reads data, formatted data from the keyboard, but sscanf reads the formatted data from a string. In the same way as we use scanf, we'll be using sscanf. Only the difference is that we need to supply the input string. So let's go ahead and see. The first parameter to sscanf is the string from where this sscanf is going to read. So this time it's going to be string, right? That's the string from where this sscanf is going to read. And the second is the format specifier list, just as we do with the scanf. The first one is the name, that's the character array. So we need to specify it as percent %s. And then we have percent %d, that's the age. And percent %d is the format specifier for integer, you know that. And the last one is double, that's percent %lf. So now we need to mention the target variables or character arrays where these things are going to be assigned. So first one is the name, so we are going to assign that to the name character array. Second one is the age. So we need to mention the address of the variable age. So here for the name, you don't need to prefix that ampersand because this name itself is the address to the array, to the first element of the array. But for the individual variables, yes, we do need to mention that ampersand here because age is a variable and we need to get the address using the ampersand operator. And then finally, we need to assign that weight to the weight variable and for that, we need to use ampersand weight. So now let's go ahead and print all these individual contents. So name, I'll use percent s and I'll print the content of name and then age percent d and this time it's going to be the age variable and finally weight percent lf and weight. Okay, let's now go ahead and execute this program. So you can see that the values are extracted from that string to the individual variables. So this Bob, that name that is actually initialized there in the in the in the name variable on the name character array. And then this age is extracted that is here in this age variable. And then the weight that is 40.50 that is extracted here in this weight from this string. So that S scanf actually uh, reading this string and scanning the individual values to the corresponding uh, target variables or the arrays. Okay, let me now go ahead and show you something more on this S scanf. Say this input string is having something like this name is Bob and then we have these kind of things there age is 16 and then weight is something like this. Now you need to extract this name and then this age and then this 40.5 in the weight, ignoring all these things. You should ignore all these things, right? We don't need all these things to be extracted. So how are you going to tell the sscanf to ignore all these things? For that, you can use percent star s. Now you see that the first part, that means this one has to be ignored. Now this percent star s, if it is received by scanf or sscanf, then the first string that it finds in the input is going to be ignored.
So star means it's actually you are telling the scanf function or the scanf family of function to ignore the input. So it's going to ignore this one. Then you are having this percentage. So it's going to read this one to this variable name to this character array name. Then again, we have this, right? So we need to ignore that age colon. So again, we need to have that percent star is there. So I'll write percent star s. Then we need to read that 16 into this variable age. Then we have this wet column that has to be ignored again. So percent star is again. Then we need to read that 40.5 into this wet variable. So let's go ahead and see how this works. You see that still the values are extracted from that input string, although that input string contains many other things, but it has extracted exactly what we need. So that's how you can use the sscanf to scan values from an input string. Thank you for watching this.